is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today I'm going to be doing a video of my top three most disappointing figures of 2016 and I know you're going to ask am I going to be making a top 10 favorite figures of 2016? Of course I'm going to be making that video because it is one of my favorite types of videos to make at the end of the year. I like to pick out my personal favorite uh, top 10 favorite figures of 20 of that year and let you all know it's not they're not the best figures they're not the figures that I'm saying are the best that were ever made they're just my personal uh, favorite top 10 favorite figures of 2016 but um I just want to let you guys know I do I'm getting over a sinus cold so I might sound a little stuffy or something like that so I'm still a little sick and then also I am using my new camera that I just got so uh, hopefully the quality of my videos are much better and my audio sounds a lot better as well. I did get a microphone, but it sounds really bad on my camera. I'm still learning how to figure everything out. But anyway, enough of me blabbing on. Let's get into my top three most disappointing figures of 2016. And coming in at number three, if any of you have been watching my reviews that I've been posting throughout the entire year, then you know this figure was definitely going to be on this list. And that is the Mafex Batman vs. Superman Wonder Woman. I was extremely disappointed with this figure. And I will admit, she's an alright figure. She's okay, but that's it. <laughs> she's nothing more, nothing less. And uh, sadly, this is the best 6-inch scale Gal Gadot Wonder Woman figure that we have as of now. I'm hoping Mezco makes one or even SH Figure Arts. But um, the one thing that really threw this figure off for me that made this very disappointing to me was the face. And that was an issue a lot of people had with this figure. The face looked nothing like it did in the prototype pictures, uh, proto yeah, the promo pictures, and the prototype uh, figure that they were showing on display at events look nothing like the face on this figure as well. I mean, certain angles you can kind of see Gal Gadot. I don't know if it's the paint or the sculpt. It's like they didn't try with her face, and it just came out really bad. And that's the biggest disappointing thing to me about this figure. There is a few other issues about this figure, like the color of her hair just, I don't know, it just seems a little weird. Some of the articulation isn't the best. I do have a lot of quality control issues with the paint. Her costume does look really good, so I'll give them that. Like, the skirt looks good, and then the uh, upper blouse. I don't know what the hell to call that, but the red part with the gold in it. I think it looks good, the sculpt of it. I love the paint that they chose. Same with the uh, shin guards or the lower leg guards. And I think her uh, the boots look cool and everything, and the knee pads and all that. I think a lot of stuff does look cool on the figure, but there's also some things that really disappointed the hell out of me, and the face was one of them. Quality control with the paint, the headband on top I think was executed so poorly, it just looks really bad. Um, the accessories I'm pretty cool with. I like the sword, the shield, um, the interchangeable hands are fine, we get the rolled up Tasso of Truth. But the other Tasso of Truth, I think, uh, I don't know why they put it the way they did, it's it's unrolled a little bit, but they're still rolled up like this on both sides. So all she can do is hold each side of it, and that's it. It's like, what? I mean, uh, I don't know. That might not bother some people, but it did bother me. Um, another main thing, I, another main issue I do have with this figure is her ankle articulation. Mainly the pivot. So when you have pivot on a figure, it goes side to side when it pivots. Now with Wonder Woman, when you use her pivot... It goes forward. What the hell is that? That is something that I hate. Why does her pivot go forward? I mean, you try to move it over, but you can't. So that is another thing that I hated on this figure. That and the face, and I have quality control issues with the paint. So that is the reason that she was on my list for uh, my top three most disappointing figures of 2016. I think... Mafex just threw it out there and they're just like screw it let's not fix face or put any paint on it or this and that and I don't know I just got a really sloppy sloppily made Wonder Woman so it just made me even more irritated and disappointed about the figure so she is my number three on my list 
And moving on to number two, and just to let you all know, everything is Mafex figures because I feel like they get away with way too much with um, like certain releases. Like they try with some figures, and then some figures they don't give a shit about, and they make them like crap. And then some people are like, oh, you should be expecting that because it's Mafex. No, I shouldn't be expecting that when I'm spending 50, 60 bucks on a damn import figure. People let Mafex get off way too easily, way too easily with stuff, and it's got to end. You can't, it's, it's not right. You're spending your hard-earned money on a figure that's actually crappy, because Mafex didn't want to try with it, so that's why all three of these figures are Mafex, because I feel like they did a real good job with certain figures this year, but with other figures, they did really bad jobs like this C-3PO that's why he's number two on my list this is such a bad figure not just disappointing it's a really bad figure this was a very very horrible figure that they made oh my god this thing is so bad there are so many issues with this it's ridiculous Mayfex should actually be ashamed that they made this figure. Now the one main thing about this C-3PO is he falls apart way too easily and constantly and that is so frustrating that should not happen with a figure and a lot of people say including myself I, I think this too maybe he comes apart easily because they're trying to let you recreate uh, from the Empire Strikes Back when he gets blasted by a stormtrooper and then he's in a bunch of pieces and Chewbacca picks him up later on. So a lot of people, including myself, were thinking that, but that, sh no, that figure should not come apart that easily. Like, the see how easily that arm came off? That should not happen. That should not happen. Same with the legs. I mean, I don't know what the hell Mafex was thinking. And he has a lot of loose joints. The legs... And the ankles are the worst ones. His ankles are so loose, you could barely get him to stand on his own without it collapsing and then the figure falling down. It's like, what the hell is that? The swivel at the biceps so loose. You got some really loose joints on here, so that is a really big negative for a figure. Uh, you can't have loose joints like that. And you can't have joints falling apart on you like that either. That's not how you make an action figure, especially if you're an import company. So those are a couple of uh, main issues with this C-3PO. Um, another thing is the forearm. It didn't happen on the right side, but on the left side, it randomly split apart on me. I was, I didn't even do anything. I didn't do anything with it. I think maybe I was swiveling the arm or something, and then it just split apart. I was like, what the hell is that? I mean, I kind of expected it because I seen it happened with a couple of other figure reviewers and I know every person every person I know who got this figure the same thing happened to them um, all I did was just crazy glue it back together but you shouldn't have to do that with a damn import figure like what the hell is that all about so that is another issue with this figure I mean it's funny now looking at it but back when I first got the figure I was a little irritated and pissed off about it because I spent a lot of money on this two-pack and he does come in a two-pack with R2-D2 and I think they killed it with the R2-D2 he comes with awesome accessories he has some good articulation for being R2-D2 but you get C-3PO and you feel like you got robbed of your money because I think the two-pack was like 75 80 bucks and I guess what 40 40 for each figure about or at least 40 for C-3PO 35 for R2 you just feel robbed with this figure right here, with that two-pack. It's a 50-50 with that two-pack. You get a good figure, and you get a shitty figure. It's like, no, you're an import company. They should both be good figures. So uh, those are a couple other issues. Now, let's see here. I had to write stuff down because there's so many issues with my, uh, my top two most disappointing figures. Um, let's see here. All right, so... I guess the last main thing is we really don't get any accessories with this C-3PO. Um, one more thing, don't get me wrong, I think they did a nice job with the sculpt and I love 
what they did with the gold. They gave him like a dirty type look because it's an older C-3PO. He's all dirty. Maybe he has a little rusty and stuff. So I think they did a good job with the detail. <laughs> but everything else was executed so poorly. It's just... It's disgraceful that a figure company did that. But uh, anyway, going on to the last main thing is we really don't get any accessories with this C-3PO. I think we get one interchangeable hand, which is a gripping hand, and then he comes with like a, a com intercom piece. Remember in uh, A New Hope where he's like where he's talking to Luke and he thinks they're getting crushed, so he comes with that right there. But the thing is. The hand to interchange, I think the left one is it, or the right one, one of them. It's so hard to interchange these hands like it wasn't meant to be interchanged with anything. So that is another issue I have with the figure. Plus, we really don't get any accessories with them. Like, what the hell? And just to let you guys know, they did, I don't know if it released already, but they did make another two-pack with uh, the Force Awakens C-3PO with BB-8, and I did pre-order that. I had to cancel it after this. I canceled it. I couldn't buy that. I couldn't put myself through another another C-3PO by Mafex, but those are main reasons. I There's a few more reasons, too, about this figure, but those are the main reasons why this is my number two on my most disappointing figures of 2016. What the hell is that? Look at that. Why does a figure do that? It shouldn't. All right, so that's my number two. Now moving on to my number one, and I also think this is a bad figure as well. Uh, C-3PO, <coughs> sorry about that. C-3PO is a really bad figure. This one is a very bad figure and an extremely disappointing figure. And if you collect figures like me, especially imports, you should know what my number one is since it's all Mafex figures. And it is the Mafex Batman vs. Superman, Henry Cavill, Superman. Holy crap, Mafex really screwed up big time with this figure. Uh, my main issue is definitely at the knees. His joints are too loose, too loose, and he's very it, it's troublesome uh, getting him to balance and stand on his own because of his knees. His ankles uh, aren't that bad. The toes kind of mess it up as well, but it's the knees. They made the joints. I mean, it's tight when you have it forward, but if you move it a little bit, it starts getting loose, and it's just... It's no good. So that is one main issue with this horrible Superman figure. Let me go down to my notes that I wrote down because there is a lot of them. All right, so that is the main room right there, and he, he, he's a pain in the ass to stand sometimes. Um, we also have an issue with the biceps. Now, if you look at the left bicep here, you can see it's not all the way pegged in. The right one is... I mean, it doesn't look like it is, but it is. That one's all the way pegged in, but the left one isn't. And people say, said the reasoning of that is because this bicep is on the wrong side, which it actually does look like it. So this bicep should be over here, and this bicep should be over here. I think... Yeah. They put the biceps on the wrong arms. So that is another issue right there with the figure, and it's annoying because... The bicep over here isn't fully pegged into the shoulder joint, so that is a little irritating, and it kind of looks stupid on display with one arm not fully pegged in, so that's another issue with the figure right there. Um, next, this might just be me, but I feel like all his interchangeable hands look way too small for this figure. I don't know, they just, I don't know, they seem too small for me. It might just be me. But I feel like the open hands, the open palm hands look too small. The fists look too small. It's like he has baby hands. <laughs> ba baby hands? Superman! So that is another issue I have with the figure. Um, also, the shape of this Superman does not look like the shape of Henry Cavill, the build of Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, his upper chest is huge. And I don't know, they just didn't get the build right of Henry Cavill. And I know a lot of people... That was a big issue for them about this Superman. So that is another one right there. <laughs> There's so many issues with this figure. It's ridiculous. It's pathetic. Mafex should be ashamed of themselves again with this figure. Another thing is, we really didn't get the best accessories with this figure. We got the six interchangeable hands, three pairs. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Uh, we get two different kinds of open hands, and then we get the fists here. But, um... 
We also get an alternate head, and this is just, uh, it's like, I felt like the Joker made this figure, and he was doing it purposely, giving us a really bad figure. So we do get an alternate head, and as you see, this one's just the basic head sculpt. But we do get another one where it looks like he's about to shoot out the, uh, the eye beams, the lasers, out his eyes. And they colored a certain color around his eye to make it look like he's about to shoot the beams out. Tell me why they made them orange. Why? <laughs> why are they orange? His laser beams are red. <laughs> They're not orange. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why they made them orange. That, that, I never used that head. It just looks stupid. It just, I don't know, it looks like he's shooting out some uh, spray tan or something at you. And speaking of orange and spray tan, another issue with this figure is look how orange he is. Look how pale I am next to him. It looks like he's been spray tanning himself every day. Why would you make Superman look like he has a spray pan? Isn't every Cavill like really pale like how I am? So I don't know why they made him orange. I don't get that. <laughs> they made him orange like he spray tans every day. So that is another big issue. And I didn't mention that in my review about how his skin tone is so orange it looks like a damn spray tan I mean there's still other things that I could go on about this figure those are my main issues though another weird thing is the cape I like a lot of people don't like how big it is because his cape isn't this big I think they overdosed a little bit on it but the weird thing is they put the bendy wire in the bottom part of the cape instead of running down the sides like the Batman figure like why did they do that I mean, if they wanted to put it in the bottom, at least put it in the sides as well. So, it's really annoying trying to pose around his cape also. So, that is another issue. But, I mean, Mafex did such a bad job with this figure. And this is my most disappointing figure of 2016. And, yes, it is all Mafex figures because they keep doing shit like this. They've even done it in the past. Their Catwoman figure from the Dark Knight trilogy... I heard that was a horrible figure. A lot of people just tell me how it breaks all the time. Uh, the version 2.0 Christian Bell Batman was a horrible piece of crap. That was my the worst figure, I think, of 2015. But they do it a lot, and they're still doing it. They need to stop doing that. It's Enough is enough. You're charging us import uh, figure money for these figures. If you're going to give us a crappy figure when you feel like it here and there, at least charge like half the price or something. But, um, yeah, that's my top ten, uh, top ten, that's my top three most disappointing figures of 2016. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be making a top ten favorite figures of 2016. I'm still waiting for a few more figures that just released, which is the Mafex Hulkbuster, which I feel like, I hope, doesn't belong on this list. So the Mafex Hulk Buster did just release. Um, I'm going to be really pissed off if that figure sucks because it costs $250. That's an expensive figure. That figure better be awesome and it was delayed a lot. So that just released. The SH Figure Arts Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock just released, but I just got Austin. Uh, the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn just released and the Variable Action Heroes uh, Lucci. So I want to wait till I get these figures in before I make my top 10 favorite figures of 2016 video. So I will have those reviews up before that video. So be on the lookout for uh, my next toy unboxing videos and those reviews. But anyway, that is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.